Hey everybody, welcome back to Daily Proof Cooking. So we've got a short and sweet video today. I'm making chocolate peanut butter squares. Now I make this every year around Christmas time. Now I know Christmas is already over, but it doesn't really matter. You don't have to make these for Christmas. You can really make them any time of the year because they are absolutely awesome. They are no bake, so it's like super easy to make and they are just so tasty. So check out the video and let's get into it. All right, so let's make some chocolate peanut butter squares, shall we? Now, like I said in the intro, these are a staple piece in my house. I make them every year over the holidays, but, and now you certainly don't have to wait for the holidays to make them because they come together so quickly, they're so easy, you can really make them at any point in time. So what you're going to want to do is get yourself a large mixing bowl and into it add two cups of peanut butter. Now I'm using crunchy peanut butter. You can certainly use smooth peanut butter if you want, really whichever one you prefer. Either work, I just prefer to use crunchy peanut butter. Once the peanut butter is in the mixing bowl, get two and a half cups of powdered sugar and add that in. Next in is two and a half cups of Rice Krispies. Pour those in as well. And then last but not least, you're going to add in two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. From there, it gets really easy. You're just going to mix this all together until it's combined. Now I started off mixing with a spatula and then I moved on to a wooden spoon. And then I quickly realized that how thick this gets, I forgot how thick it gets. And really, it's really tough to mix with a wooden spoon or a spatula. So I just got in there with my hands and mixed it all together until it formed a smooth and consistent mixture. You know, you can muscle through it with a wooden spoon, but it it does get really hard with all the peanut butter and the Rice Krispies like just sticking together so maybe mix with your hands. But then you're going to get yourself an 8x8 baking pan and line it with some parchment paper and then you're just going to put the peanut butter Rice Krispie mixture in and you're going to press it down until you get a nice smooth and flat layer of peanut butter and Rice Krispies. So like that. So press it all out with your hands. Make sure it's nice and smooth and then it's time to move on to the chocolate layer. So get yourself some semi-sweet baker's chocolate and roughly chop it until you get two cups of chocolate. Put it into a mixing bowl and then add in a quarter cup of unsalted butter. Stick this in the microwave and melt it in 30 second intervals, mixing every time after the 30 seconds until it comes out smooth and combined like that. Now that looks like pretty good chocolate, but we're not quite done yet. To make the chocolate a little bit more smooth and glossy, we're going to add in a tablespoon of light corn syrup and then a teaspoon of regular old water. And then we're going to mix this all together until it's combined. Look at how smooth and silky that chocolate looks. Oh man, the corn syrup and the water just adds a really nice touch to it. You don't need much, but it'll just make the chocolate so much nicer. From there, just get your chocolate and pour it on top of the peanut butter rice crispy layer and smooth it out with your spatula. Like this is a really easy recipe. I'm sure you can see that. Like this is no bake and you get a really delicious chocolate peanut butter square out of this. It's one of my favorite treat recipes like of all time. I absolutely love making these because of how easy they are and they are so damn good. So stick this in the fridge and let the chocolate set for a couple of hours until it hardens up. And then it's time to eat these bad boys. Now I've let this harden up for a couple of hours as you can see it's nighttime now but the chocolate has hardened up perfectly so take the parchment paper out of the baking tin and it's time to go in for a taste test. But just look at how gorgeous those look. Oh man, they came out perfectly. So let's go in for that taste test. So I'm just gonna cut myself off a piece here, cut off a couple of pieces because I know Rose is gonna want a piece and Meg's gonna want a piece. So let's just grab a piece here and go in and try it. But here's a quick close-up shot for you. So you see the nice chocolate layer and the nice peanut butter and Rice crispy layer. It's what an easy recipe and they are so good. Oh yeah, that is so delicious. You, you, honestly, these are so good and as you can see, Rose is pushing the tin off to the side she wants to get in on this too man these are so good and they're so easy so you should try making these i think you'll really like them they are super easy they're no bake what more could you ask for but anyways that is the end of the episode i hope you liked what you saw here today if you did why don't you drop me a comment like the video or even subscribe to the channel thanks again for watching idiot proof cooking we'll see you again soon